Welcome drone video fans. My name is Bill. In this eight minute video we're going to take a look at the uh, recent uh, work done on the uh, uh, Harpers Field Dam Project and uh, Eel Trap Project. We took off from uh, the shore and uh, we're heading out towards the uh, second half where they're working now and they they've dammed off a, a lot of uh, the area this area that you see that's dammed off those are 5,000 pound bags of sand with some visqueen in between and some mother bags on the other side but yet water still leaks in so if you see on the far shore there's an orange and a green thing one is a generator and one is a pump and you see a couple of big eight inch uh, pump uh, lines running in there and they're constantly pumping water out of this area to keep it dry so that the they can do whatever it is that they're doing uh, they're using it I think basically as a staging area and I think they may wind up uh, changing some of the shoreline areas and we're going to fly over this covered bridge uh, it's uh, probably 150 years old um, and we're going to look at the area where they're working you see lots of guys down there in their uh, yellow uh, uh, safety gear you also see the Grand River out there with uh, some ice on it so uh, even though the sun was out uh, it was not exactly uh, warm there's uh, an excavator over on the uh, right hand side and they appear to be um, leveling out and uh, making a foundation for the new um, the new dam that, and eel trap that's going to be going in on the left hand side you see some woodwork and framework there that's the uh, the frames and, and uh, area for where they'll be putting rebar and pouring concrete and, and setting up the uh, the uh, uh, the new the new dam the you can see the the functional section of the new dam there and how it cat the water is cascading over it I think we'll zoom in here a little bit but um, you know this river the Grand River has lots of uh, sport fish uh, steelhead and trout and uh, coho salmon and so on and so forth they, they will have no problem at all uh, you know f going over the tops of, of that water to uh, then swim uh, upstream and uh, it, it, but those the, the way that that's set up it will effectively block the uh, the uh, lamprey eels from uh, getting further upstream anyway you can see there the, the workers there are level, leveling out the ground and everything and trying to get everything ready for uh, what they're going to put in there. I think what they did is uh, they cut up the old dam into pieces and that excavator is um, picking up the uh, the old concrete pieces of you know the old dam and putting them in this uh, uh, you know this load this loader that it's it's sort of like a uh, a dump truck I guess because that area where he's dumping the things is uh, can, can pivot so they're they're preparing a like a a channel almost and but they're also removing all of the uh, the uh, debris from the original dam that was there and uh, you know this moving it over and getting ready to, to drop it into the uh, into this uh, uh, into this dump truck here. I'm mean, we zoomed in here to 2x, and uh, you'll be able to see them drop a piece. That's uh, you'll see how heavy this stuff is uh, once they uh, drop a piece. Okay, so now he's he's gonna pick up a pretty good load of of the old uh, of the old dam over here, and he's gonna swing and try and drop it in this this loader. And one of the pieces falls over the edge and falls into the water right there. So that you know now we're back to normal zoom. Uh, those pieces are, are, are pretty heavy from the uh, old dam that was there but um, I was surprised that you know given you know that it's winter and everything like that that they're continuing to work and the only thing that I can think of is why you know they've cleared out this area beyond the bridge so far and you can see the pump and the and the uh, generator there in the green and the red in the back uh, that are working to keep that area dry is that I, th I think that they're going to probably ex make it an extension of a restraining wall to uh, protect the, uh, the the back end of this bridge and you see that uh, sort of a trackless or tracked dump truck uh, moving over to an area where he's going to dump um, 
that that stuff that they uh, got now. I don't know if they're going to use that for fill, uh, backfill for uh, some area that they're going to you know change the uh, shore the shoreline in order to prevent um, future erosion um, because you know in in the spring when th this river r rises from the rains and everything like that it that's usually when there's a lot of erosion so they may be doing uh, preparing to do something like that like they did on the other side they put a, a, a new restraining wallet and here he's gonna dump uh, those piece pieces from the uh, old dam into into the pile here but uh, that was you know kind of interesting watching these guys doing this work and um, uh, just moving right along and uh, you know uh, as I said I was kind of surprised to see them uh, working you can see you know snow uh, in other areas so it's it's not exactly warm out, out here and uh, we're looking uh, down river now where this uh, Grand River runs down eventually winding up uh, in Lake Erie and uh, as we continue to turn you see a little blue dot there on the far bank that little blue dot is me and my blue hoodie and uh, I think we even uh, zoom in here to 2x uh, and get a get a look now we're at 3x and even at 3x it the uh, the video holds up pretty pretty well uh, surprisingly enough but now we're back to uh, 1x here and I'm gonna go back to uh, shooting the good stuff I just wanted to get a little a little a view of myself there and again this is looking uh, upriver um, up the Grand River see some ice there in the distance you see state route 534 that blue bridge that's going over over the river and uh, we're just kind of backing up now you can see the uh, um, the uh, uh, Harpers Field uh, covered bridge there like I said it's over 150 years old and uh, still in pretty good shape even though this part uh, it's you know made up of steel what had to be constructed to make up for land that was lost during a, a, a huge flood that they had back in uh, the early uh, 1900s that wiped out that, that end of the bridge. So uh, that's just a, a little update here and we're gonna uh, you know the the Evo is so quiet I, I have to sometimes turn around and, and uh, really look for familiar uh, spots uh, in order to see my see where it's it's located at because it's hard to follow in the in the air. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this uh, update. Uh, I, I did uh, go out and shoot another thing at the same time, so uh, we'll, our, our next uh, video won't be so long in coming. Thanks for stopping by and watching. Leave, leave a comment if you're so inclined. Uh, have a, um, a wonderful uh, new year in 2020. We'll see you in the next video.